and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is currently 8.09 a.m. and I am doing a day in my life because I was looking back at my channel. I'm not even looking back at my channel, just thinking back at my channel. And I don't think I filmed one of these since I moved into this apartment. Which it has been 11 months since I moved in here. So I am so sorry about that. But honestly, I would say that this day in my life isn't very outdated because I would say that like my schedule and my day to day life has changed over the course of the past few months. Not like tremendously, but a little bit. And honestly, this is going to be just a very average day in my life. I don't have anything that's planned that's like out of the ordinary. I'm not doing anything that's different than normal. I'm gonna get started on breakfast. I typically, once I wake up, I do breakfast like pretty early on. So I think this morning I'm gonna make a just egg and tofu scramble and I got these little potato pop things. I'll show you guys them when I eat them. So fun, they're so good. And then I'll come back in here and eat and get ready. So let's get started on my morning and go make breakfast. <music> my breakfast I know this might seem weird but I like to eat my breakfast when I do my makeup because then I'm getting two things on at once in the morning and I just feel like I can start my day a lot like quicker so that's what I always do so I have my makeup right here my food right here and my dance moms on my laptop right there I've been obsessively watching dance moms for I don't know three weeks now maybe maybe a month I don't know but I never watched it when it was on and I honestly had never seen even like a minute of an episode until like the past few weeks and it's the most incredible show I've ever watched and I don't know why it took me so long to watch it but I'm absolutely obsessed. I have to talk about my breakfast though. So I have my tofu scramble that is like a just egg tofu scramble because I love just egg but it would be way too pricey to eat just egg as much as I wanted to eat it and not go broke. So I always do half just egg and half tofu. So it's like a tofu just egg scramble. The best thing I've ever eaten in my life these potato puffs. I mean, they're what they sound like, they're potato puffs. A crunchy potato shell and then soft mashed potatoes on the inside. It is incredible. Let's do my makeup and eat breakfast and watch some Dance Moms and then I'll be back to actually get some like real work done after this. I finished my makeup, I finished breakfast, and I have a few little things that I need to go do. I have some laundry to do, I have some towels that are in the dryer, I wanna make my bed, and pick up like, just like a couple things around my room, um, and then I think I'm gonna get editing. update or fill you guys in on what's going on right now. My schedule changes every single day a little bit just because I mean luckily gratefully I get to work for myself and I get to choose my own schedule so every single day it's a little bit different. But I try to film for TikTok at least three days a week. I mean I'd love to film as much as I possibly can but I try to do about three and as you all know I live in a two bedroom obviously like small apartment with another roommate and so I have to like schedule filming hours and like windows and when I can film. I always ask my roommate like, does this time work for you? What times are you free in the next week? And so I have it planned that at 11 today, I'm gonna film from 11 to one. So I have two hours of film. I'm gonna be filming one TikTok and then filming my lunch in this video. Hopefully that made sense. Right now it is 10.03, so I have about an hour until I can film. So I'm gonna be editing YouTube video that I filmed yesterday. Before I did that, actually, I said there's a couple things I wanted to say. I got a package from this brand called Verb, and they make granola snack bars, but they're caffeinated, which I have seen caffeinated granola bars before, but they're like the Eat Your Coffee, I think that's the name of the brand, something like that. Coffee granola bars, and I don't like coffee. 
like the taste of it at all. So I can't eat those. I don't think they taste very good. Nothing against the brand, just coffee itself. It says there's the same amount of caffeine in one bar as there is in one espresso. So I'm gonna try one of these right now. Chocolate chip banana bread. They also sent hot fudge sundae, but this one intrigues me more. So I'm gonna try one of these. And I guess I'll just update you guys on if I feel any difference in terms of caffeine. I feel like I won't. Honestly, I don't care that much about the caffeine as long as they taste good. The flavor is really good. Okay. The flavor for me gets like an 8 out of 10. And I'm going to eat this and edit my second half of the video from yesterday. And see you guys when I get out in the kitchen to film. Okay, it's now time to film. So I thought I would show you guys my very much makeshift TikTok setup. It is a little funny, but let's get into it. Basically, the only lighting that I own is this really cheap ring light from Amazon. I mean, it does the job. Well, actually, I'm gonna plug it in. You know, it definitely was not expensive. It's definitely not the best quality, but it does its job. It lights up the room, and I'm happy about that, and I don't really wanna spend um, like hundreds of dollars on lighting. One day I will, but as of right now, I don't really wanna splurge on that, so. I use my cheap ring light, but you might be wondering, how do I keep it up on the counter? Well, let me show you. I have two containers. I have these raisins and these raw cashews, and these hold up my ring light. They go on either side. Bam, there we go. And then I put a little glass on the side of the raisins, put my phone up on the glass, and that's how I film. So it ends up looking just like this, super cute, super fancy. And then on the side of my camera, which nobody can see, I have a lipstick. Lip stain in case I have to reapply mid video. I have my lip balm and I have a mini hairbrush in case I wanna like fluff up my hair for clips. So yeah, that's about it. That's my filming setup. That's what it looks like behind the scenes. <laughs> Definitely nothing too crazy, but I'm filming one TikTok today. Days that I film, I try to film like two videos at a time, but since I'm filming my lunch for this day in my life, I'm only gonna film one TikTok today. And that is the frozen jello trend. I'm hoping that it works out. I'm using this vegan jello I've never used before. It's from the brand Simply Delish. It's the raspberry flavor. It is sugar free, which is probably not gonna taste the greatest, but it was the only vegan jello that I could find. But I'm gonna go film that right now. I'm gonna put my phone up and go make some frozen jello. Over the past couple weeks, my For You page has been bombarded with videos about frozen jello. And like everyone else, I think it sounds and looks really, really intriguing. I don't even want to say good because I'm a little, I don't know, it's a really odd texture if you've seen the videos. The jello becomes like crunchy and I don't even know how to describe it, but I need to try it. You guys, typically the first, specifically the first clip, I probably refilm like five times because I want it to be perfect because it's like, you know, the first clip that everyone sees. I just filmed my first and second clip, the first 40 seconds of this video, all in one go. And I'm really proud of myself. So now we're gonna make the jello. The jello has been made and it's sitting over there to cool and now that it's cooling I just have like some downtime between when I can film because it has to sit for like an hour. So I'm gonna be making lunch while I'm waiting right now. Honestly I don't really know what I'm making. I have some black rice cooking, I have some tofu that I want to use, some veggies, avocado. I'll probably just make a random Buddha bowl of stuff. Now I'm just going to assemble it. I cooked, I think I said this already, some black rice. Big container of spring mix. I have some shredded carrots. I use this like veggie shredder thing. I mean, you guys saw the video and it, it kind of worked. It kind of was a big hassle, but I made some pretty veggie Strings. The tofu. The tofu I'm really excited about. I've never made this tofu before. I don't really know where the inspiration came from, but I thought it sounded good, so I made it. It was maple mustard tahini. Breadcrumb tofu. And then I have about 
a little less than half an avocado. The last thing I'm gonna add, I'm actually, well, second to last thing, I've actually never tried before. It is this traditional German salad. It is cabbage, carrots, and I think that's kind of it, just like fermented. I'm even using a jar opener and I can't open this. <sighs> I think I need to go ask my roommate if he can help. <laughs> okay, luckily he was able to open it so I can finish my meal. This smells like something very specific, but I can't think of what it is. It smells good though. Actually, I should probably try it. Oh. Whoa, entirely different than what I was expecting. It's a lot softer than I was expecting and a lot sweeter. Whoa, it's good though. Last thing is some hemp seeds and then my lunch is complete. As you can tell, I actually just really quickly filmed me cutting up the jello and putting it into the freezer. I couldn't film behind the scenes though because that camera that I'm filming on died. So I was charging it for a little bit and now I wanna do a taste test of the tofu. Oh, it's so like crispy. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited. I really hope it's good. It is good. It's a little dry. I don't know exactly what I'd do to change that. I mean, in a meal like this, it won't be dry because I'll be mixing it with a bunch of things. The flavor and crunch are both very, very good though. So definitely will be making it again, just maybe a little bit of alterations. Maybe adding some oil into the marinade would have helped it a lot, but. Overall, really good. And I'm gonna eat this, finish editing my YouTube video. I'm pretty much done with that, clean up, and then I'll talk to you guys after that. Oh my goodness, I am very stressed, very frazzled. I have not filmed in like an hour or two because I've been filming and, or filming for TikTok and editing my YouTube video and it is currently now 3.45, I was thinking I was gonna be done with my work today at like 2.30 latest. Well, that in fact did not at all happen. I'm finally done with the YouTube video. I finished the video, I finished the thumbnail. It's now just uploading. It says there's 13 minutes left. I have to do the dishes at the pack. I just got a package. Oh my gosh, I just got a package from Tinder. Love you, Tinder. Tinder, if you guys don't know this, I met my boyfriend on Tinder. Um, don't know how Tinder found me. I haven't mentioned that I met him on Tinder since like February, but I'm not mad. I got this really cool t-shirt. It's glad we matched. It is fabulous quality never expected tinder to have such good quality they gave us this hat that says send fish pics um a super cool tinder bucket hat and then some sweat shorts that i don't have time to pick up the package and show you guys right now so i um basically let me explain why i'm frazzled and stressed i'm going over to will's house tonight and um normally wouldn't be any difference if I show up an hour or two hours later than I had initially planned because like we wouldn't have any specific plans but tonight I wanted to go on a sunset hike and the sun now sets at 4 45 it is 3 45 and he lives 25 minutes from me so how am I gonna do all of this and make it there in time to go watch the sunset I don't know that's why I've been really stressed but I said yesterday I told you guys that I'm uploading this video today so I have to put it out today I don't think any of that made sense, but I hope you enjoyed, and basically that is a recap of the past couple hours and where I'm at right now. Um, Frozen Jello did turn out pretty good, though. I posted that on TikTok if you want to go check that out there. I don't have time to say anything else, so I'm going to get going on packing up everything and praying that I can... I just... I really wanted to go on a sunset walk, and I know I can go pretty much any other day, and it's fine, but I'm really hoping we can make it there, so let's get going. Let's get packed do some dishes, and then I think I can leave. Okay, I have changed, I have packed, and I somehow have six minutes to do all of my dishes, which is a hefty amount, and make a protein shake. That was terrifying. I'm gonna go do that really quick, and then hopefully we'll be out the door at an appropriate time. At this point, it would definitely not be a hike. I'm hoping to get a mini walk-in. Maybe make it before sunset. Okay, it is 4.05, so a little late, yes, but I have my protein shake in hand, my hat on my head so I can bring it to him without it getting crushed. I have my bag packed, and I'm ready to head out and drive there. It's probably traffic time by the time that I'm leaving, but it's fine. I've half made it. Okay, I just got in the car. 
Um, yeah, it's really, really bad traffic right now. It is gonna take me 33 minutes to get there. Might miss sunset. That is so tragic. I was waiting all day for that. I was trying to get my work done so I can go see the sunset and I don't think I'll be able to. Okay, um, just parked at his house and it is 441 and I just checked the weather app and it said that the sun sets at 449. We have minutes, so I don't know what we're gonna do. We may go on a walk, we may not. I'm a little sad, but either way, I got so much stuff done today that I guess it was kind of worth missing the sunset walk. I finished most of my protein shake. I just have like a couple sips left, and I didn't even realize for the first 20 minutes of driving, I had no music on. I have protein shake on my nose. <laughs> I didn't even notice I had no music on. I think I was just so focused on getting here and I don't ever do that. Music is the very first thing that I always do when I get in my car. Guys, I got my walking outfit and everything. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Have my slippers on and everything. What the heck? What do we do? I don't know. Uh, I think we should weigh our options and see what we see what we could fill our evening with. Okay, love is blind. We've consulted. We've talked. Yes. We are going to be painting the gift that I got him for Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's gonna be a whole entire year before. Yeah, it, I got us this like paint by numbers. I don't know if I mentioned this in my. Valentine's Day video. If so, I bet nobody remembers because why would you remember that? But anyways, I got him like a paint by numbers photo of us that you paint and I I got a really detailed one. It's, it has like yes. thousands of little little like tiny tiny yes. little things. that. I so it to takes paint. a long time. I will say that does not excuse the fact that it was was in February and now it is November and yeah. we have not finished it. We probably could have finished it in like Two months, three months. Oh, we could have finished it, yeah, definitely in two months, but we do it once every couple months. <laughs> I wanted to say once a month, we don't even do no, it once a month. No, we don't do it once a month. But at this point, we're almost to the end. Maybe we'll finish by next Valentine's Day, so we're gonna paint, we're gonna watch some Love is Blind. Please, no spoilers in the comments. Like, please. And then we're gonna order some food for dinner. We don't know from where, but I guess I'll just see you guys when we order food. But now let's get to painting. God, I am actually starving. I think my stomach has been growling for the past 30 straight minutes, but I've been Yay. We ordered from, ooh. We ordered from a place called Stout Burger. Things are kind of soggy and cold by now, but I don't even care. Dang. Mm, mine? That's gorgeous. This is huge. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, that makes sense. You would think that looks so sad. You would think protein style would be. Um, oh my gosh, they just scored. Ew. Or good. Oh my gosh, let's go, Matt Nieto, the Long Beach native. Yes. We're watching hockey now. Um. After three episodes of Love Is Blind. Uh no, I thought that. Protein style mint lettuce, like how they do it at. Well, that is like every place ever. Well, but now you just got a burger in a box. Okay, but I got a really good burger. There's so much stuff in this. There's some type of like coleslaw, avocado. That looks delicious. That looks incredible. Vegan cheese. Vegan pepper jack. Vegan pepper jack, some type of like aioli. Oh my gosh, there's like there's so much avocado. I don't even, and some, it's like a hemp patty. I've had this burger before. It's huge. It's called their planet-based burger. It's so delicious and it tastes about 50 times better. Oh my gosh, the vegan cheese is so good. Then it would have if I wasn't, then it wouldn't, then it would have if I wasn't this hungry. It's good? So good. See how fast that was? Yeah, but is there no napkins? Oh. Hey! Thanks, love you! See how fast that was? So speedy fast, thank you.
it is the next day and I didn't end up updating the vlog because honestly there wasn't too much to update. I mean, we did painting, we watched probably four episodes of Love is Blood, maybe three. Like two episodes of Big Brother, we made those Korean cinnamon pancakes. I don't remember the exact name from Trader Joe's. I don't know if they're new, I don't know if they're seasonal, I don't know if they're leaving soon, but all I know is that I hope they stay forever because they were one of the tastiest things ever. Like not even just from Trader Joe's, they were amazing. It tasted like the inside of a Cinnabon, but in a pancake type freezer thing and it was so good. But honestly, I had so, so much fun vlogging and I hope that you guys liked watching it. I think I would love to vlog a little bit more if you guys like it and definitely incorporate like a lot of fun on eating and grocery shopping and everything like that. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video.